Hello and welcome to another edition of Atletico TV. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the coverage from last weekend's Loughborough International. Unfortunately, stark contrast, you know, typical British weather. Last weekend, gorgeous sunshine, as unpredictable as ever now. It's, it's rainy and pretty damp, but um, the focus of this weekend, it's going to be basically probably what the, the start of the British domestic scene from an endurance perspective because we've got the first British Milers Club Grand Prix that's going to be taking, taking place in Manchester. Like I say, don't be, hopefully not people are going to be too put off by the conditions. It is, it is rainy, it is, it is damp, hopefully there's not going to be too much wind, but hopefully that's going to give us some cool and calm conditions for, like I say, this opening fixture where there's going to be huge numbers, stacked fields throughout with our top, top endurance athletes through the 8, 15, 5,000 and there's going to be a 3,000 steeplechase for men. So this is just going to be a preview, mainly it's fortunately going to focus on the A races because that's where the main highlights of the athletes are, but throughout the evening I'm hoping to be catching up uh, with some of the stars and some of the great performances that we have. So if we start with the men's eight, littered with 150 guys, um, perhaps the start spearheading, that's going to be Darren Sinclair. He's had a great start to the season stateside, 147-0 already. Uh, so hopefully he's going to be at the forefront of that. There's Richard Hill, already 147. Throw in um, Colin McCourt. He's going to be all hopefully in the mix there. An interesting pass to watch out for. Adam Cotton, he's in the, men, he's in the men's A race. He's a junior. He's already gone sub for 150 this season of 149. No doubt he'll be shooting for that 148.5 for, for hopefully to secure selection for Canada for those World Juniors. Moving over to the women's side, equally stacked and competitive field. Spearheaded probably by Vicky Griffiths, World Indoor representative along with Jenny Meadows uh, and over the winter. So she's going to be opening up her campaign. 2-2 two -two indoors, so hopefully she can get close to two minutes. Possibly dip under, we don't know. Closely followed behind them, we've got the likes of Emma Jackson, uh, Alison Leonard, both 2-1 two, 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 girls, sorry. We'll see if they can push the two minutes. And also, quite interestingly, you see the return of Laura Finucane. Been out for a while, but has holds a personal best of 2-1, so it's going to be interesting to see how she goes. Moving up then, next we've got the men's 1500. Um, top, the quickest athletes in the field will be Stephen Davies and Jermaine Mays. Arguably, perhaps the outside favourite is going to be Jermaine Mays because he, again, he's like Dan Sinclair. He's had a good stateside trip, got a good couple of early performances in there, and I know he's looking for a sub one uh, 338 clocking, so it's going to be quite interesting. Um, following on from that, there's a clutch of guys who possibly shooting for Commonwealth standards who can only go sub four. We've got the Alistair Hay, David Proctor, um, like I say, Stephen Davies. Uh, Lewis Moses, you know, he's been away out of two training, had a great run last week in the three camp, particularly looking to see how he goes. And also there's going to be an interesting battle from the juniors' point of perspective. Um, we've got uh, arguably, you know, last year's standout junior, Niall Brooks, 341 he ran at this meeting last year. He's run a 148-800, so could he go potentially sub-340? Following him, we've got John, uh, sorry, Richard Goodman and Harry Ellis and also John McDonnell. They both run close, 345 for Ellis and Goodman. 346 for McDonnell and they're going to be shooting for that 340 four flats A standard for the World Juniors. Flipping over to the women's side, Emma Pallant's probably arguably the, the top name in that field. She had been injured for quite a lot of the winter but she opened up at Bucks, she looked fit and ready. It's going to be interesting to see how her 1500 metre debut goes. Also in that field, last weekend's 1500 metre winner from Loughborough International, Morag McClarty. Uh, Faith Fullerton, who took the 3,000 last weekend, she's stepping down to the 1,500. Clutch of girls perhaps pushing on for that sub-420 clocking as well, so and then another great competitive race. Moving up next one, so the men's 5,000, okay? Hopefully we can get a lot of good guy, a lot of guys under 14 minutes, like I say, cool conditions, hopefully good pacing, it could definitely be on the cards. We've got Phil Nichols and Anthony Ford, both have been selected. For the European Challenge 10,000 metres, they're going to be opening up over a 5k on the track. Both have sub 1350 clockings, it's going to be real exciting to see if they can do that and go faster. Then, possibly guys under 14 minutes, we've got Ryan McLeod, Johnny Meller, Mitch Goose, Johnny Thewlis. Highly exciting, let's hope most of those guys can push on under the fire, under the sorry 14 minute barrier. On the women's side, uh, standout from that race seems to be Justine Heslop, she's had a great opening to the season over 1500. 416 for that. She's going in the 5,000 tonight. 1550 last year. See how she goes. Um, quite perhaps mostly interesting than the rest of the competitors is those who are not aware, it's actually the national uh, three age trial for the world juniors over 5,000 metres. So for under 20, under 20 women. 
May, so the only entrants that I can see are Emily Gorecka and Lily Partridge, both of the old shop farming and districts. Uh, Emily Gorecka, highly talented, still under 17, has a 419, 1500 metre clocking. The girls that have to, to be selected for Canada, you've got to be looking for a sub 17 minute clocking. So it's going to be interesting to see how both Emily and Lily go on in that race. And then finally, we've got the men's 3000 metre steeplechase, uh, spearheaded by Stuart Stokes. Fourth at the Commonwealth Games over 3,000 metre steeplechase. Good to see him back. I know he had a few issues last year. Did, um, um, didn't represent, you know, might made quite a profile impression at the European Cup where he made the statements about, you know, not being running for UK, he's running for his country. But he's good. To, he's obviously there, fit, ready to go. It's Commonwealth year again for him, so it's going to be interesting to see how he goes. Star of the rest is probably going to be James Wilkinson. Last year's 3,000 metre steeplechase uh, on European Junior, so 3,000 metre steeplechase bronze medalist, 13.51 last year. I know he's perhaps going to also be shooting for those Commonwealth Games, so it's going to be interesting to see how he goes. And finally, it's good to see the return of Stephen Murphy, you know. I'm the same age as Stephen Murphy. I grew up and watching him run that, th he ran, let's correct me if I'm wrong, 8.47 as a junior. Unfortunately, since then, he's been blighted by injuries, but it's good to see him back. I know he's run a 3,000 metre flat in 8.20. So that suggests he's perhaps in nine minute, sub nine minute shape. So it's going to be see how good, good to see how he goes, along with the other guys who are hopefully going to be dipping under nine minutes. So, like I say, that's just a quick preview. Hopefully, I haven't talked fast and talked through too much, but it's going to be really exciting. Hopefully, the conditions will brighten up. At least get rid of that rain. We're not too bothered about the cool, but hopefully, like I say, there'll be a clutch of PBs, Commonwealth qualifiers. We'll see. Stay tuned for Atletico TV for so some of Mary's interviews with the leading athletes. Thank you.